Bad. Just bad. Avatar 2 is a bore fest. Pretty on the outside but hollow within. Style over substance is the right term for it. Pure evil Hick soldier is back and now he's even more malign. He has a son on Pandora breathing off of an oxygen mask that has an infinite supply of oxygen. With whom and when did he consummate? Unclear. Same everything. Entangling pubic hair with beasts, we're not in Kansas anymore. Line. Taming a big flying vermin. Whale juice as valuable as unobtainium. Sobbing again and again. Jake being a wooden protagonist. Korich being pure evil. What's with their language? How is an alien civilization speaking fluent English? They are very much Americanized with stereotypical African accents. And all the kids were irritated. Bro. That was insane, cuz. Cringe dialogue all throughout. How are hybrids even biologically possible? What's with the narration here? Jake ain't recording himself no more. Doesn't it ever rain in Pandora? Repetitious orchestra song in every single scene. A generic, cliched, lazy, pointless, predictable, contrived, silly, stupid and implausible plot with awkward, unlikable, obnoxious, puerile, cheesy and undeveloped characters. Animation does not even look as good as the first one. Everything looks cartoonish. And they got glowy sprinkles on their face now. Desperate attempt to make me cute and lovable over boring OL humans. Is Avatar the new franchise to replace banal Marvel now? Just as Marvel is killing itself with its dull projects these days, James Cameron is here to excrete right besides me. Funny thing they both share is that no important character dies in both franchises. We have to think about sequels, don't we? Hated way of water. Found it worse than the first. Still baffled on how the mass is easily fooled by bright lights and explosions every 10 minutes. Won't bother with the upcoming sequels. I really wish I could appreciate it for what it is, a demonstration of cutting-edge CGI, but I just couldn't this time. The novelty factor carried the first movie but the sequel unfortunately doesn't share the same advantage. Since the prequel had some very obvious flaws that were unanimously agreed upon, it is very confusing to me that the creators instead of working on them, doubled down and amplified them. After 13 years and hundreds of millions of dollars, the writing, the cast and the acting remains lacking, if not even worse than before. To be frank, the plot is now so dumbed down that it becomes insulting and many of the characters are so unlikable that I found myself rooting for the bad guys. Jake in particular, is somehow still celebrated as a hero even though all his actions are those of a spineless coward with no care for anyone but his own flesh and blood.